<laughs> and what we have here are four more Ajax space figure helmets. Ash, can you see this? And probably use some editing on this one. Um, here's the Ajax stash as is and all but those two and then these three copies currently have helmets assigned I want to live a closed street life and I'm kind of hoping that they might be able to be transmogrified onto an archer figure and I'm going to try fitting them here on a, on a, on a Glencoe reissue not gonna risk my nice the noses on my nice archer uh, figure. Miles and miles and miles. And no, I don't think so. So I've got to find two more uh, Ajax figures. That'll work. This red one is odd. Um, the, the, the modeling on the surface, I'm not sure what else to call it. Mottling, M-O-T-T-L-I-N-G, mottling, or maybe there's an E in there. It looks like a resin cast to me, as opposed to the one next to it, which is this nice, smooth, uh, molded plastic. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is an original or a copy. I don't know. Um... And I'm not sure how to how to find out either. Ajax was very requiant in not marking their figures at all. Yeah, works. Let's see. One of these copies doesn't look too awful with it. Well, that's kind of nice. That fits. And and just just to make sure, here's my green. This is the first Archer guy that I got, and his head appears somewhat narrower than the others, um, but it doesn't want to go over his nose, and I know not to force it. It went right over. The wrong way. Almost fits on a Glencoe, so. We'll have to find a couple more. And, and I, I've almost made a promise to a couple of people that I'm only going to look for the uh, metallic plastic ones, these primary colored figures um, were made somewhat later and, and may not have been made by Ajax at all. And there's no real way to know because they let apparently allow people to use their molds. Maybe they leased them out or something like that. Who knows? A-OK -okay was another one of the companies that was using them in bag sets that had helmets. So The three white figures here that I refer to as copies are actually glow-in-the-dark castings from the mid to late 1970s, made roughly about the time that Star Wars toys first hit the shops, and most certainly were not issued with helmets. I'm also wondering if this feature here on the top of the helmet is indication of it being an earlier or later figure helmet sing out if you know but the price was right and i like buying from the guy and we'll be back for more